Disclaimer, I do not own the clips or music shown. These are used for review and entertainment purposes. Thank you. Hey. Oh, hi, Joe. What do you have for me today? Well, um... Do you know the superhero Green Lantern? Green Lantern, you know, the popular DC comic superhero? Well, she has a power ring named The Power Ring. And he uses it to create all of his thoughts into reality. And he's also a part of a force called the Green Lantern Corps. He's a very prominent member of the Justice League and a prominent character in the DC Universe overall. And you see... The Marvel movies are not slowing down. They're getting closer and closer to the Avengers. And in our Batman movies, they're not enough. And we, and, and we, we need to do more, sir. I was thinking, how about we start a universe of our own? And we start with the Green Lantern. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> We're going to keep the Marvel vs. DC race going. <laughs> and fan discussions totally won't be annoying at all. Well, uh, which Green Lantern are we using? Are we using Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart? Um, Hal Jordan, sir. Ah, Hal Jordan. Okay, so so who would he get to play uh, Hal Jordan in this movie? Um, I talked about some of the other guys, and at first we kind of thought, uh, Jack Black, for some reason, or Justin Timberlake. He decided to have Ryan Reynolds. Oh, you mean the guy that had uh, his mouth sewn shut, lasers coming out of his eyes, and claws coming out of his knuckles? Yes, sir. And if this fails, um, let's just. We'll just. Hollywood, besides as a whole. That we just shouldn't use Ryan Reynolds in any other superhero movie ever again. Which will totally... Will not happen. And he will totally... <gasps> so sir, I noticed that uh, we tend to um predict the future a lot. And by jinxing it. I think we need to stop talking. Hey, whatever. Okay, okay. So, the movie starts with a narration. Of, of the, because, you know, narrations at the beginning of movies are always great. Talking about the Green Lantern Corps and the dangers of parallax and great exposition. I hope it won't be explained all over again in the scene later on. We're jinxing stuff again. So then, uh, as you can see, um, it cuts to a, uh, a flashback with our main hero as a child, what has never been done before. It is just as original as the opening narration. And we also have uh, a parent dying, his father, which also never happened before in a superhero movie. And we cut to present day with our old Hal Jordan, played by Ryan Reynolds. And he's a, uh, he's a pilot. And okay, so we get to see, uh, Hal as a character, and we can see well, just cracks jokes, and that's it. <laughs> and him growing as a character, um... He, uh, um, he becomes Green Lantern and, and, and fights the bad guy. That's, that's all character growth needs. Come on, I mean, we saw Peter Parker get bit by a spider and he immediately starts fighting crime. What came with great power again? <laughs> and, um... <clears throat> Then, there's a spaceship, and uh, we see Hal, and uh, his best friend, played by Tika Waititi, sees it. First, 
If this fails, we also won't see Tico Atiti in any other superhero movie ever again, and we'll never see him direct a superhero movie in the future. <laughs> Secondly, okay, so they're like amazed that they see a spaceship, right? They're like, wow, or they're like really surprised, and it's just something that's just so unreal. And they, they just have blank stares. They just look at it and be like, oh, it's a spaceship. It's a, a spaceship. You know, they're all like, Is it a spaceship? Oh, yeah. A uh, spaceship. I see that every day. I mean. Seriously. If an alien spaceship never, like, came upon your life, like, every single day, then you're just weird. You're just weird. Take a note of that. And then, Hal gets the power ring. And he comes some dudes. You also get to see the Green Lantern suit. Okay, sir. I'm gonna call my costume department right away. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> you don't need to do that. We're going to make his suit CGI. Like, entirely CGI. Not even the mask is practical. It's all CG. And then he meets the Green Lantern Corps, and that's also completely CGI as well. Like, he meets Sinestro, and also Kilowog, and he meets many other great characters. And also, speaking to other characters, we also have, um, Blake Lively in this movie. Love interest. And, uh, there's also a scene where, um, the Green Lantern saves her and- Wait! Green Lantern could put- his thoughts into reality. So he's got to have a great imagination, you know, and think of many creative ways to save her and creative ways to stop bad. I mean, uh, he creates like a race car, sort of, and he makes like a sword and, and guns. That, that, that we, we did to sell toys. We can do that, sir. So, he can put his thoughts into reality. And you could really use his imagination here. So, he just makes swords and guns? And Hot Wheel toys? I mean, that sounds so lazy. Put that in. And then Blake Lively finds out about Green Lantern's identity. And, um, they just talk. Forget the upside down kiss. We have them just talking. Just talking. Also put that in, sir. That's a great idea. I'll have Angela Bassett as Amanda Waller. <laughs> if this movie fails, we won't put Angela Bassett in another superhero movie ever again. <gasps> and then, sir, sir, what's a good superhero movie without a good villain? So, um, you said something about Parallax earlier. I guess I'm gonna get to that. But... Uh and we have Hector Hammond, sir. And the uh, Green Lantern barely fights him. It's okay. We have the demon Parallax. And he's coming to destroy the world. And, and he looks like this. Yeah, no, he looks a little more like this. I mean, it worked for Fantastic Four. And then, uh, Green Lantern, you know, how Jordan... He goes on with a speech to the Green Lantern Corps about how the humans are a young species and they have much to learn and there's good in them and... Sir, sir, this sounds a little bit like a certain other movie. Movie has ever talked about uh, humans having good in them and, and, and they've been trusting in the aliens at all. So, uh, 
Green Lantern goes to space and defeats Parallax with something that's totally not toyetic at all. Green Lantern says his goodbyes to Blake Lively and then the movie ends. Or does it? Yeah. We're trying to go up against Marvel. So, let's have a mid-credits scene where <laughs> Sinestro gets the yellow powering. <laughs> Hinting at a sequel. The movie actually ends. Thanks, sir. But first, what did Green Lantern learn in this movie again? And, um, he's a superhero now? Well, then the movie sounds great. Fantastic, sir. It was a pleasure seeing you. We're gonna make a lot of money at the box office. And this is gonna be the next big thing. And we're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna really beat Marvel this time. This fails don't have any other attempt in a DC shared universe ever again. Another pitch meeting. So, uh, I thought we could, uh, do a shared DC universe and we should start it off with Superman. And if this fails, we're gonna never, ever do one ever again. And another, another pitch meeting. I was thinking we should do a, uh, a shared DC universe and start it off with, you know what, if this fails, I don't even know what this <laughs>